Breaking news. Hey, my people, he will be shocked. Court set aside judgment against Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu and Abdul. My wonderful people, is happening. We all know that um, uh, Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu's court case has been on for some time, even before the election, you know, and um, some people have been asking us, when is Pastor Sage Ize Yamu's court case coming up? Because we've seen that the current governor of Edo State, who is serving his second tenure, has had series of court cases after September 19 win. And, you know, whenever we present uh, the latest happening, people will always ask, what about Pastor Sage Ize Yamu's case? Well, Breaking news, court just set aside the cases against Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu as well as his running mate, uh, Abdul. Let's get straight into the news and get all the details. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. We sincerely appreciate you. God bless you. The governorship candidate of the All Progressive Congress, APC, during the September 19, 2020 election in Edo State, Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu and his running mate, Halaji Gani Adu, Monday morning emerged victorious at the Court of Appeal in Benin. The three-member panel of the applicants' court set aside the judgment of the Edo High Court, which disqualified them from participating in the crucial election. Appeal Court's Justice Omoleye, A, B, Judge, and E, O, or His, on unanimously declare that there was no evidences of forgery on the part of Abdu. The judges also declared that the suit was status bound since it was filed outside the 14 days constitutional threshold thereby upholding the appeal of Pastor Osage Ize Iyamu and Gani Abdu why setting aside the judgment of the Edo High Court judgment with regards to all that has been filed against them. So my people, this is currently what is happening now as we speak. The court has set aside uh, the judgment that um, maybe Governor Gordon Obaseki or APC had against Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu or his running mate. Remember that the High Court has dis a, 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 a court in Edo State has disqualified Abdu from running. Uh, what that means is if you don't have a running mate and according to INEC Constitution otherwise changed, if anything happened to your running mate, it, it directly affects you. It's like it has happened to you as well, like what we see in the case of what happened in Bayesa State. Okay, if your running mate, I mean, INEC is trying to, uh, you know, to eradicate that and um, clear that up to say your running mate's uh, fault does not really bind on you. You know, the uh, election, uh, what we call the, the, the forms being filled. Is like the husband and wife signature that goes on in Nigeria's political system. But what INEC is trying to currently do today is to ensure that, you know, uh, if, for instance, there is a problem with the running mates, either of them, it does not affect the other person. Okay, so this is what INEC is trying to do as of today to say uh, the fault of one does not bind on the other. You know, uh, uh, Pastor Sage Ize Iyamu is the anointed candidate of uh, uh, Adams Oshomole, who came out to market him in no small way in 2020. He came all the way when he came into uh, Edo State. It was like a carnival. He came and he was, you know, dancing before the people. He's doing well for his age, uh, as an, as uh, I mean, uh, as, as as old as he is. He still dances very well and, you know, promotes his candidates. But the truth of the matter is the people of Edo State made their choice by September the 19th. And we saw the current administration, which is Governor Gordon Obaseki, who came back to become the governor of Edo State despite all odds. What this means is that, you know, uh, they can still pursue any case they have against Obaseki. And if peradventure anything happened, they still have a fair shot, 
you know, Obaseki is already serving out his second tenure as the governor of Edo State. And right now, this judgment is a great move. You know, is a is a is a great move for them. Is a is a good position that they've positioned themselves in opportunity to say, okay, let's fight Governor Gordon Obaseki or let's go against the the result or whatever the case may be. This is this stands as a good position for them. So right now it's like uh, it's like a Christmas for them, so to say, for lack of words to describe it, and uh, they are doing well. You know that's the bottom line. They are doing well with this court's judgment. is a is a is a very good position for them, and um, we will see what will be coming up in the forthcoming days as we'll be keeping you well informed of all that is happening with regards to Edo State um, governance. You see, we don't know if uh, because uh, you know there's still a few judgments here and there, although the coast is clear. You know, but we don't know why Governor Gordon Obaseki, if you're well informed and you've been following us, have not really gone ahead to commission, to go ahead and pronounce commissioners uh, in Edo State, uh, so as to say uh, we have started, I mean, this becomes the arm of government that assists him in ruling Edo State. He hasn't done that uh, for the time being. So, I mean, this judgment today is a boost to the APC um you know, family in Edo State, and uh, we'll see the next line of action that um, APC will be taking as a result of what has come forth if they will want to go back, challenge your basic in court as they feel now that they have uh, more potential in case of anything to come into the seat or in the aims of affair. This is what is going on currently in Edo State. Edo State was trending in the news last year with regards to, you know, because of the peculiarity, you see, uh, between Obaseki or Oshomole, how close they were, how we saw friends turn something else as a result of politics and um, how they've been in and out of courts, you know, and uh, Pastor Osage Izeyamu has been pursuing this for a long time, especially when his running mate, Abdul, was disqualified. It was... Um, a setback but you can see that they are gradually bouncing back to get on board and this is like a you know a one 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 step in the right direction for them uh we'll be keeping you informed as the matter unfolds uh today is a day of a celebration for uh, APC as well as Pastor Sage Ize Yamu, his running mate Abdu, uh, Ghani Abdu, and um, you know, we will be keeping you informed. Uh, we don't know what next, but um, hopefully, all goes well. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up, subscribe if this is your first time. Thank you so much. We sincerely appreciate you. God bless you. Bye for now.